It was it was pretty incredible to play it with a guy like that. Um, you know, I think for everybody in the room, uh, growing up watching hockey, watching the Hawks and those dynasty teams that you had, he was definitely a big piece of them. And uh, I've got to know him a little bit because we trained together over the summers. Uh, just to see you know how hard he works and the kind of guy he is. He came here and is unbelievable with all the kids. Unbelievable leader in the room and. Uh, you know, even though his stay wasn't too long, his impact has definitely uh, lasted and it's really helped us uh, get to the team that we are here today so far. That was something I was going to ask Kinger. He was here long enough to leave his mark then? And leave something behind that you guys can build on? Yeah, absolutely. You know, especially early on, I think when he had some growing pains, he's, uh, you know, he's not afraid to speak up and speak his mind. Uh, he's obviously seen a lot of hockey, played a lot of hockey throughout his uh, time in pro. So. Uh, to be able to draw from all those experiences and kind of help us out and uh, steer us in the right direction, you know, it was, it was huge. Does his departure make you feel like you need to take on more leadership responsibility now? In a sense, this is something that I've kind of dealt with throughout the course of my career as well in terms of, you know, being a leader or wearing a letter. Uh, I, I try not to change um, as a result of different situations you know sometimes you know maybe I'm gonna to have to be the guy to address the team instead of him or, or something like that but uh, ultimately I think you're chosen to be a leader uh, for what you're already doing so just gonna to try to continue that and you know obviously want to be a, a big part of that what do you lose with his absence I think he's got a presence for sure around him. He's got so much respect in the locker room and uh, anything that he says. And like I said, those experience that he's draw from, he's got a, you know, a ton of knowledge, hockey IQ is through the roof. So uh, we're definitely going to miss that. But, uh, you know, it's an opportunity for some young guys. And as you said, he, he felt really, really bad uh, taking any opportunity away from some of these young guys that are trying to develop. They're working every day to get to the next level. And, uh, you know, I think that says a lot about him as a person and his character. Do you think they see it, the younger guys see this now as an opportunity for them to, to step up and, and show everybody what they're made? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you're not going to, uh, you're not going to completely fill a, a void like that, but, um, you know, maybe there's somebody that hasn't gotten quite the opportunity that they want or wants to get on the power play and show what they can do. And uh, obviously one open roster spot definitely creates those opportunities. So, uh, you know, it's exciting and you try to use that, uh, the positives of it to have guys step up and kind of lead by committee. Coach kind of jokes about the power play these days. I know it's probably not a joke to you guys. Is there something you guys are talking about or firing up back there that you can figure something out with that? Yeah, you know, I think we've been working at it. Um, I think we, you know, we need some opportunities too. Last game we didn't get any opportunities, so um, you know, hopefully we get a little bit of consistency and uh, we can kind of know which, what plays we're trying to run and, and where, uh, where we're trying to run it from. And once you get a couple that, that go in, then I think your confidence really skyrockets. It can be a uh, a momentum changer for sure if you have a power play that you expect to score and guys are looking to get over the boards and uh, it kind of lightens the burden on 5 on 5 a little bit. On the other hand, it can get in your head when you start to have a drought in that department too. Is that happening at all where coach mentioned gripping the stick too hard when it gets that way or whatever? Yeah, maybe. I think as long as you're winning, then it kind of masks those problems. Uh, you know, when you're losing and uh, you know, say you lose a 2 1 game or something like that, and you have five power plays, then it's really easy to look at. You know, that's, that's the difference right there. But I think if we're winning, then, you know, it can mask some of those problems, but it doesn't mean that it's not something that we really want to focus on and improve on. Dylan's having a really nice season. Just what are you observing in terms of his growth and the things he's doing well right now? I think he's becoming a more complete player, a more complete pro. Uh, you know, he's, he's skating, he's competing, he's taking pucks off guys on the four check and uh, you know he's obviously got a lot of talent and like we said, spoke about the power play I think once that gets going that'll really you know kind of boost some production and once you get uh, some more production on the power play like you said maybe you're not worrying about gripping the stick as much on five on five because you know you're going to get an opportunity or uh, you know a point here and there and uh, you can help your team that way that's obviously a big part of what he brings so uh, you know, it's been exciting to see his growth throughout the last couple of years and, and be a part of it.